Hello, Helen here. Welcome to a card of my Christmas 2019 series. This card today is quite a simple card. It's a lot like a lot of the cards that I'm doing this series and have done lately. It's just quite a clean and simple style. Seems to be my thing at the moment. So I'm starting off with a card base that's not quite my normal size. Um, this one is 13 by 15.5 centimetres or 5 and 1 8 by 6 and 1 8. So it's a little bit shorter than usual. I'm going to be using masking paper to mask off an area and then I'm going to do some ink blending. So I've got a piece of masking paper here and I'm just going to cut a circle out. Now the circle diameter is about about 9 centimetres in diameter and I'm going to cut out the masking paper with the circle just slightly higher than the halfway point of the card. I've also got some tree dies here. Um, I've got three different sizes and I'm going to cut the two smaller ones out um, and I'm going to use the centre part that I'm not going to use of the masking paper to do that.
I've stuck down my card on the board and put some painter's tape either side of the masking tape just in case I go wider than I think I'm going to and get some ink on the front of my card. I've also ended up cutting out one of the larger trees because I decided that I needed a bigger one in the forefront and then to have the other two sizes further back to make it look like it was they were off in the distance. The large tree I'm going to have over the top of the other two just slightly overlapping and also slightly to the right of the middle point as I'm wanting to save some space to put a Christmas star in the sky once I've done the blending. And I'll make sure that the uh, masking paper's really stuck down as I don't want it lifting when I'm doing my um, blending. So I start off using a mini blending tool and use the tumbled glass and the salty ocean and just start off with the darker one around the very perimeter of the circle and the tumbled glass further in and blend those. I end up um, not being very happy with how dark I was going and decided to go a little bit darker. So I ended up using the um, Catherine Pooler ink out of the party set called the Something Blue ink. And I that definitely makes it better, but I'm still not that happy with it. So I go and get some of my old and new blue inks and I'm going to use sapphire which definitely darkens up the very outside and I'm much happier with that. It looks more like a late evening sky before it gets totally dark which is the look I was going for. So I go backwards and forwards between the something blue and the sapphire inks and just get a really nice blend around the outside, blend it all in. And then once I'm happy with the blend, I'm going to um, just use a little bit of water sprinkled on just to try and um, imitate some stars in the sky, or just some variation in the sky. I end up not being very happy with the results of that, so I take a Jelly Roll white pen and a Stardust um, Jelly Roll pen, and I just do some dots all over the the background just randomly <coughs> to imitate stars. Excuse my voice at the moment, we, um, we're in early spring and there's a lot of pollen, we have um, pine, pine plantations around um, the hills near me so um, I'm a, I've got a little bit of hay fever at the moment. I love this part when you peel off the masks and see the results that you've had in your head and it's transferred onto your card, it's just great. I love this part. A 
because I don't have any suitable um, dies in my collection that's going to make a Christmas star, I'm going to have to freehand draw it. It's actually fairly simple. All as I did was draw a big plus sign and then across into the middle of that. And then I went around and drew triangles intersecting those points to make my star and then I cut it out. I'm very sorry but it looks like I've lost the footage for the doing the colouring of the um, Christmas star. What I ended up doing was covering it with some liquid pearls um, in a gold colour and I did several layers of that just to build it up a bit and then the last layer while it was still wet I sprinkled some um, biodegradable glitter, gold glitter onto it so um, it was quite sparkly and then left it to dry. And this is where I decided I didn't really have enough stars in the sky so I get my white jelly roll pen and my stardust jelly roll pen and did some dots just randomly all over the sky and it looked a lot better, um, certainly looks better in real life. The next thing I need to do is do my sentiment. I'm going to use this Joy Crafts um, sentiment set. I've used it lots and lots in my videos. Um, it's got a few Christmas ones amongst it along with a whole lot of others. Um, and I'm going to use the one that says the magic of Christmas and just put it below my circle on the card. I'll do that with Versafine Onyx Black Ink and Clear Embossing Powder and then heat set that. The only thing left now is to glue the star onto the card and that's the card finished. Now do consider um, subscribing if you haven't already so that you can catch any of my other Christmas cards as they come through on the series. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'll leave some photos of the card at the end in another couple of videos that you might like um, of Christmas cards. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.